Hey guys, welcome back. On AWS, we're going to build a database with Redshift. Okay, guys, <clears throat> let's skip to the end, actually. Um, okay, so we're going to select the average from the fair amount from uh, this path right here, this schema and table. Public and now the tables. Anyways, guys, um, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so uh, here's how you can monitor. Before anything, um, before anything, you need to go to Redshift Serverless. Only thing is I created one. Here's the thing, the IAM role, if you guys are familiar with it from my SageMaker uh, videos, SageMaker pipelines and just regular SageMaker models, you need to create an IAM role in SageMaker Studio. Now, you can connect that same one if, let's say, you wanted to import data from S3, you could do that as well. Remember, this is data warehousing is a database. This is where we store data, and uh, data engineers are usually the ones responsible for building it. However, they will, they might, as a data scientist or machine learning engineer, have you either, from their perspective, set it up and construct it a certain way, or you might have to go there and do SQL queries to find out which tables, which data is appropriate to pull, which columns. If let's say it, the data you're not going to build a model with is not in an S3 bucket and you're going to pull it out of the S3 bucket and then build a model, no. Not all the time. Sometimes it may be in databases. You may use AWS Glue. You may use Athena in Glue. You may use this. Um, you may use Athena with this. You may build, uh, it may be a production endpoint with Glue. Anyways, guys, um, be advised, as a, as a machine learning engineer, data scientist, you may go outside of the job description a little bit. Or they just may have you do be doing SQL queries as a data scientist often to just get statistics. It's, it will be more advanced SQL queries than just an average or moving average of a columns. They might have you do be doing all kinds of stuff. Anyways, I'm not too big on SQL. Um, just know enough to get by. Um, here we go. And then there's another SQL query. Um, let's actually, uh, create a database. I'll show you. Remember database, schema, and table, because there's actually two databases I created. There's two ways. You guys can also do this with uh, AWS uh, S3 as well. There's many ways. Okay. This is just uploading it simply. Let's just do size one. And create table. Oh, yeah. Let's just name it anything, just to be funny. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's got to be size one. It reset it. Okay, anyways. There it is. And then uh, they already get you started with SQL queries because if you wanted to, you could just replace that right there and then average or whatever you wanted to do. You guys see the file path? <sighs>
Anyways, let's exit out of this stuff. You guys can also see uh, plots as well. Be sure to check these so you can see explanation graphs, subplots, whatever you want to do. Let me show you guys a little bit around here. You guys can see history of executions. Charts. Notebooks. Let me just show you a little bit around. Create another database if you want. Remember, guys, I created two. Redshift cluster. This is the serverless default. This is most likely the one that they will uh, create by default unless you know how to set it up. Like I set up the Redshift. Now, guys, uh, be advised. Um, that as a data scientist, ML engineer, it doesn't actually hurt to learn things outside of the job description. You know, they may come in handy. Of course, you won't be building data pipelines like the data engineers do. And another thing I wanted to bring up, uh, you guys saw in my videos, um, I did everything from SageMaker, ML pipelines, getting them approved, registered, and deployed, and monitoring as well. I've done uh, just regular deploying my simple models like that, various, all the algorithms, uh, Streamlit apps, GCP. Uh, I've even uh, got a little big query simple tutorial. Um, I've got pretty much, I got two Azure deployments, one to an endpoint, one as a web service. So you guys name it, I got it. If you guys are watching the channel the first time, be advised, this is not all I got. I just wanted to take a break and do something simple. So uh, check out my channel. Feel free to hit like, subscribe, and share because I probably got something and if I don't, by the time I'm done, I will get to nearly every service on AWS. I plan on doing a GCP later in the future with uh, not AI platform, but KServe. Or uh, TensorFlow serving as well. I plan on doing that too. ML pipelines. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and share. Thank you, guys. Till next time, bye.